just working all day y'all and sometimes I'll be like I want to give my people a nightcap so I had got on while I was at my desk and I was just like this finna be totally you know impromptu um I'm just finna talk a little shit and just keep it moving you know what I'm saying and, and maybe take my lashes off that's why I was talking about the whole time my lashes and you know this white merlot that I'm drinking tonight okay Try it out, you all, especially if you like the original uh, Merlot. This this wine is white Merlot, okay? So, I've been on this for the last couple days. However, as I was just talking my stuff back at the desk, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give my, my early entrepreneurs a story time because, you know, this is my thing, you guys. I like to give tips. I'm not an expert on business. Okay, I'm only telling y'all what I know from what I learned and research and what I went through myself. You feel me? So, as I was talking, it really encouraged me. And that's what I do. That's what I said that I was going to do. I said that I was going to encourage young entrepreneurs like myself to let y'all know that y'all can do it. Y'all just have to stay consistent and y'all have to fall through with everything that y'all want. And not only that, y'all have to know y'all business worth. And know that you're worth it. So it's okay to take your time to make sure things are right. However, the story time is based on when I was working at um, one of the last jobs that I had, you guys. And um, I'm currently in the transition, you know. And, you know, I started my YouTube. I was in this transition because I've always been a working girl. Okay, I'm kind of all over the place because I want to make sure I don't miss nothing, y'all. But however, um, I am currently in this um, transition. God is very good because he has blessed me to not really want for anything. You know, out of the last couple months, I probably had to ask somebody for a favor. Maybe once that, you know, require anything monetary, you know, anything got to do with money. So, um... You know, I was just sitting and thinking, and I, I really just want to let all the entrepreneurs that are starting a business and you have a job, that it's all about balance, okay? Sometimes it can be hard, but sometimes you might need your job to fund your business. So it's all about working smart and not so much as hard. I remember when I was working my job, and I might have been like a year or two in because I've been at the job for about three years. And I just started my business um, maybe six months prior. Um, but every year, like, we have annual meetings. Uh, not collectively, but by ourselves. Um, you know, just to talk to the manager, just to check in. It's more of a check in. And I got pulled into the office and, you know, she was asking me, you know, like, what was going on? How am I feeling about everything? Do I want to stay and stuff like that? And I'm like, yeah, you know, it's stressful, whoop de whoop you know, but whatever. So the next question that comes or the next statement was, well, you know, I know you started a business. I don't know. She said congratulations. It doesn't really matter because I can toot my own horn. However, she was just like, you know. Her just started a business. You know, we just want to know that we're top priority and that you're going to be here for us more so. Okay. So, of course, you guys verbatim. I'm not saying what she said, but that those were along the lines. And I was like, in the back of my head, I'm like, really? But I played along. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to be here. Da -da 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 -da. And it's just so funny how speeding up till today, which I already had this mindset that, you know, I'm going through a transition. I'm not there anymore. And on top of that, it's just like, after I'm gone, y'all not going to take care of me. Do y'all think that job paying my bills right now? No. 
You know what I'm saying? But I do thank God because I was in that job long enough to jumpstart my business. You understand? And my message to you all today is don't let nobody, boss, I don't care who it is, stop your hustle. Okay? Because you all you got. And at the end of the day, I feel like this entrepreneurship is so important. So don't let a job that you clock in and clock out to make you question or compromise your business for them. You feel me? Because the goal is to work for yourself. Okay? So any entrepreneurs who start out, take this word from me. It could definitely be hard, but if it's something that you want, if it's something that you're passionate about, you're going to work extra hard. And I'm so proud of myself because I took the time out to actually do research. Not only research on the brand that I'm selling, but research for Instagram, how I can get many likes, how my engagements can go up. It's a lot of things that I did research on before I jump start and started. I've also came in contact with different business um influencers and listen to them in a way that they do things and it has really worked for me i'm also proud of myself because uh two months ago i started a youtube page and i've been very 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 consistent with going through this transition you know with me not having that particular job anymore you guys um I know how it feels when you get out of something unexpectedly. Um, depression can set in. You got bills you got to pay. You got stuff you got to do. So it's almost as if it's like you got to keep it moving. And if you don't have a lot of resources in the city that you in, then you know you might not, you know, who knows, you know, what's going to happen. So you just always got to stay prepared, you know. And, um... Just stay encouraged, y'all. That's all I wanted to tell y'all to stay encouraged. You know, um, I'm not I'm not trying to put the people out there that you know that I work for, whatever the case may be. I just know that entrepreneurship is the way to go. And the more uh, moral of the story is don't never let nobody tear you down. You feel me? And when you're going through something, that's when your breakthrough is coming. I did a story time maybe like three weeks ago talking about breakthrough. And y'all, I was at the top of my, I was at the beginning of the breakthrough stage. Because when you're going through a breakthrough stage, it's like it's a tunnel. So when you first going through a breakthrough, you might not see the light all the way but by the time you get to the middle and the end of that tunnel that light is going to start to shine so when i was giving y'all the breakthrough season advice a couple weeks ago i was just i was in the tunnel but it was shocking because when y'all when you walking in darkness you can't see what's coming at you right but you walking through that tunnel. So it's just like it was stuff coming at me that didn't destroy me, but it was falling off of me. That's exactly what it was. It was coming at me, but it wasn't hitting me. It was falling off of me. So I was very, 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 I was just in a mold because, like, I knew, I know what's going on when you get ready to have a breakthrough. And I just wanted to tell y'all. And now that I'm past that and I was thinking about story time and I'm like, I'm, my mission is... Well, one of my missions is to help encourage young entrepreneurs. I was like, let me do a story time. Because I remember being at this job and they just was like, we need to make sure you listing us as a priority more so in your business. You know what I'm saying? And really, you know, a normal person would be like, well, is this a trick question? Because if you tell, you know what I'm saying? So you just got to, you know, I just played alone. You know what I'm saying? You always got to stay two steps ahead of the game. When you're dealing with certain jobs. But I will tell you guys this. Keep it moving. My YouTube is slowly but surely doing numbers. My Instagram is slowly but surely doing numbers. I have my website that I'm going to launch in February. I have a photo shoot that I want to do for the new year. And in May, my two-year business anniversary is coming up. So it's just a lot of stuff that I want to put out there and get together for my business, you guys. And it is all coming together, okay? So y'all stand up, continue to be strong, and work smart, not hard. Balance out your life 
and plan out your life the way that you want it to be. In life, there will be unexpected roadblocks, unexpected obstacles, but it is what you do in the unexpectedness while you're in the dark, in that tunnel, you can't see. It's what matters because if you keep going, you gonna end up seeing the light either way. But if you stop and you you sulk in, in, in your sadness and in your depression, it's not going to get you nowhere, y'all. So I'm telling y'all, when y'all work on something, try to finish it. And don't, don't ever let nobody tell y'all that y'all can't be nothing, that y'all business is not going to prosper. It's like a um, sink leak, leak. When you have a sink leak and you're waiting on the plumber to come, if it's leaking, you will get like a mop bucket and put it up under the sink so the pipes, you know, the water can't go into the bucket because it's leaking from the pipes. Well, eventually that water going to fill up and you will have to empty it and you might have to start all over again. However it go, eventually it add up just like pennies add up. Okay? You keep going and you being consistent, it's going to add up. Somebody's going to see it. Even if don't nobody else see it and you see it because you went through the journey. So keep going, you guys. Don't let nobody tell y'all that y'all cannot do it and stay encouraged. All right. All right, Lemon Squad. See you later.